How how was that end of that game? You were obviously very excited that you guys won, but then you see Key at home plate. Like, how do you balance those? Things? It was a roller coaster, you know. Um, I think the whole game was a little bit of a roller coaster. You know, you're as high as you could be. We're cruising through the game. We put up some runs. It was six two, and they make a good comeback and everything like that. So it's a roller coaster the whole game. But um, immediately off the bat, you know, thinking it's going to drop, thinking we have a good chance to score and everything like that. Everything's all butterflies until you see uh, Key slide in and immediately just the way that he slid in, you see contact with the league was like a knee or a machine guard or something like that. And immediately, you know, you just like, hope that's okay. Just everybody knows sliding in that first and home is always a little concerning. So uh, just when he didn't get up or roll over or react immediately, everybody kind of held their breath for a little bit, but uh, hopefully he's all right. Talk to him and everything, he's doing okay. But um, scary moment for sure. Have you ever had a moment like that where you, you know, you do walk it off, but then at the same time, it's just like, you can't really fully celebrate it because of circumstances. Was that kind of the first time you've had something like that happen? I think it definitely is the first time. I've had a couple walk-offs in um, my career, and I'm not sure if I've ever had an awkward walk-off. You know, usually they're pretty <laughs> celebratory. So um, that was definitely one of the more in-between ones. But um, he walked off the field. You know, he stood up, so that's the biggest thing to focus on. So, I mean, shout-out to him just for busting his butt to score that run. So when I checked on him, I was like, dude, man, I know you're banged up, but I appreciate the effort you're giving, you know. So, I mean, at the end of the day, that's really all you can say. It sucks that he got a little banged up, but I'm appreciative. Uh, balling out right there so you can score that run well, well, that that home run that game tying home run in the eighth I mean you, you jump right on the first pitch just what are you thinking going into that that at bat um not much really changed there for the from the previous bats um, we're just trying to get a good pitch to hit I've been really focusing on that and uh, it showed up in the first pitch so I put a good swing on it caught it uh on time and everything like that, so I felt pretty good about it, honestly. There's not too much I really did okay. into that one. First that, pitch, saw it well, and put a good swing on it. That was a pretty big moment. I mean, the, the bullpen, had, I mean, it, it was 6-2, and now you guys are trailing by one. That, that's a pretty big moment right there. Yeah, most definitely. I believe it tied it, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's, it's, a, uh, it's exciting. You know, I, I love playing baseball, and those are those moments you kind of dream of, and you... Uh, it's funny, like there's been so many moments where I've been uh, preparing to go up to bat or up to bat, and you know, you think about trying to create that. And of course, this in this opportunity, um, I didn't try to hit a home run. I'm just trying to get a single, and I'm trying to be like team oriented, you know, like just get on base, have somebody pass the bat to somebody else. And of course, the one that time when you're not trying to do it, it does show up that way. So I mean, that's kind of how God works in my life. Whenever I try to make something happen, He's like, no, that's not the plan. But um, that's just <laughs> that's just typical for my life. So uh, it all, I'm glad it all worked out. And two innings later, you have that chance not only to leave single, but that defense play on Taylor just how would you describe that kind of play? Busy. Uh, you know, um, that, that starting on second rule, it's, it's a little bit of a curveball, you know, it's something that you did back in the day when you were a kid, didn't do it all to the minor, so now it's something that we got to get back used to. But um, off the bat, I saw it was a high chopper, and as a base runner, everybody's taught on high chopper, you're probably going to go. So off the bat, seeing that it was a, a bounce high, I was just assuming he was going to go, and out the corner of my ear, I heard, um, go, 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 go. So I heard the third base coach telling him to go, so I knew. Patrick's a good uh, Patrick Wisdom, a good athlete, so I knew that he was going to get a good jump on it, and I just had to make a good throw. So I just tried to get rid of it as quickly as possible, and luckily the throw was in a good spot, and Tyler handled it really well. Michael, when you have a home run and a defensive play like this, did you have a good feeling when you got up to bat that hey, things are going my way right now, Mike? Let's make something happen. You know, I really like I like being in those kind of moments. Um, it's a pressure situation. But just, I've said it so many times, my favorite thing is just to kind of change the perception of the pressure. Instead of being on me, he, the, I put it on the pitcher that he has to make a pitch, he has to do something here so that I don't hit a bloop single. Or in that situation, I could have even hit a deep pop-up and moved him over to third base and just done something to be productive. So I kind of just changed the perception in that moment for myself. And I really enjoy those moments, I really do. So when they turn out like this, it's definitely something special. Did your background as a not a first baseman, <laughs> the kind of infield or whatever you want to call that, feel like that maybe helped you in that play, being able to back in and play? Probably, yeah. Like Realistically, yeah, I probably did. Um, yeah, it's a backhand. It's pretty really similar to a throw that I would make at second base or even one I would make at third base. So I'd say that definitely had to do with it. But um, again, not being like the biggest dude on the infield, especially now that we have O'Neal. But um, I'm not the biggest first baseman, so I try to like figure out how to uh, make myself play up as much as I can. So I try to do my best. I'm, I tell the infielders, if you keep it low, I'll try my best to pick everything, which I think I did a pretty good job of that tonight, keeping everything in front of me. So uh, just trying to do what I can to be a bigger First yeah. <laughs> I mean, speak, speaking of O'Neal, I mean, he's throwing missiles at you over there at first base. How has that been, you know, trying to trying to you know, haul all those in? It's been an experience, you know. <laughs> he, uh, 
He's got a good arm. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's pretty much it. Um, there was one today that I, he, like, literally, I was sprinting to the bag because I know he's a good arm, and I have to get there as soon as I can. As soon as I turned and put my foot in the bag, he was releasing it, and I was like, oh gosh, it was it was, it was a little bit stressful. But it just gets there in such a hurry. It might be like usually I'm real focused on footwork, you know, getting in the perfect position with him. I'm catching the ball. That's really it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to catch the ball. He has some ride. He has some cut. He like it moves. It's fast, and I'm just trying to catch it. Good. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks.